variable in that subject is missing. When you hit OK, what you will find, the first thing you will find is descriptive statistics statistic about your uh, uh, your variable. So the mean change in the weight was five with standard division of two, 433 subjects. The diet change, the mean was 60, standard deviation 11. Exercise 26 is the mean where the standard deviation is 5. This is very important when we uh, refer to it from the coefficient uh, 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 regression itself. Now, after that, the SPSS will give you a correlation between your variables. So the most important one is to, to make sure that your weight change has some correlation with your independent variable. So it is mild with the diet change, and again it is mild with the exercise. However, it is negative direction here, and these correlations are significant. The other thing that you have to be uh, aware of that there must be no huge correlation between the independent variable themselves. So between the exercise and the diet was 0.5 between the uh, so th this one, uh, it is it is recommended to have at least a point seven. Um, then space is going to tell you which method he used to build your formula, which is enter. So he put all of them exercise and diet change together. And this is a summary of your model itself. Uh, so we have just one model. And the, rec uh, the, uh, the uh, correlation coefficient between the independent and the dependent variable is 0.3, which is moderate. Now, this uh, equation can explain 9% of the variability of outcome. So the diet change and the exercise explain the change in the weight by 9% only. For the population, it is up to 8%. Now, this model is significant with the ANOVA. That means at least the exercise or the diet change can explain and predict the outcome to know which one exactly is it all of them or just one of them you have to go for the coefficient correlation this is your equation now it will tell you that that your constant is 3.57 now for diet change and the exercise it seems to be that the diet change is significant while the exercise is not so, what does it mean that the beta here? It means that if we change the diet by one unit, it will change the weight change by 0 0.04 units. And the exercise have negative direction, but again, it is not significant. Now, this, this value here is after we control for the exercise. Now the other thing is we have something we call it standardized coefficient. Now the diet change have different units. The exercise has different units. For this one, we are dealing with the standard deviation. So one standard deviation change in the diet equal to 0.24 change in the standard deviation how to get it is from the first one here we have the the, the weight change standard deviation the diet is uh, change standard deviation and the exercise standard deviation so without units the next thing here is to uh, check for uh, uh, culinarity it, it, it should be done. Uh, we didn't select it. That's why we might select it for the next clip, which is that tolerance should be more than 0.1 and uh, VIP, uh, which 
stand for a variance inflation vector should be less than 10. Now, uh, this uh, gives you the residual statistics. We'll explain it in detail with in the next clip. Now, to check for the uh, normality of your data and homogeneity, you have this graph that already we selected. So it is normally distributed between the uh, uh, regression residual for the weight change, the BB plot, which is almost over the line, so it is normally distributed. We have this chart here that we selected between the standardized residual and the predicted value. It should be clustered around zero. And if we Im put a line here, it, they, they should be equal, both of them. So if we hit it twice here, and we select it, um, the line here, and so all these data should be similar up and down. Data is normally distributed. Now we are going to explain in the next clip adding a categorical variable as independent. However, your uh, uh, dependent uh, independent variable still should be continuous, and we may explain more about normality and homogeneity of the data. I hope you have learned something and uh, looking uh, to meet with you with the next clip.